So exhaust gas recirculation or EGR for short is basically the system that forces your engine to consume its own excrement. Now that sounds pretty bad, well yeah it is. So let's take a look at how to disable it. So why is it there in the first place? Well, what they tell you is that by recycling a percentage of the exhaust gas back through the combustion chambers, you're actually reducing the overall emissions of the vehicle. Now, this might be true, but what they don't tell you is that it's at the expense of engine reliability. So you've got a choice to make. Do you care more about the environment or do you care more about the condition of your engine? tough one. So I've opted to disable mine obviously and all I need in the case of this particular vehicle is a 12mm spanner like that and a suitable blanking plate. Uh, now this I bought off eBay although I have seen people make them out of cans of fizzy pop uh, you know if you'd rather save yourself a couple of quid. So the EGR circuit basically starts at the exhaust side of the engine here and then works its way back across to the inlet side ultimately ending at the EGR valve here. Now this controls how much exhaust gas is passed through into the inlet. So to disable this I basically need to install my blanking plate somewhere in this circuit and to make my life as easy as possible I'm going to install it right here. So to install the blanking plate all you need to do is slacken off these two bolts here Now there's no need to take them out completely, all you need to do is slacken them off enough to be able to slide the plate into position. So once you've slackened off these two bolts, you should have enough space to slide the blanking plate in. Uh, but what you might find, as is the case here, is that there's a metal gasket between the two faces. Now you need to make sure this gasket is on the exhaust side of the blanking plate so before you install the plate just make sure you've got that in the right position. Now it should be a simple case of just sliding this plate into position. Get a suitable prodding device if you're having problems. <clears throat> and now that's in position it's simply a case of just tightening up these two bolts. Right that's about it and now you're preventing all the sooty exhaust gas from re-entering the inlet manifold. Congrats. You may even notice a slight improvement in engine performance too, which is always a bonus. Uh, now one problem you may encounter if you're doing this to a more modern vehicle is that the fancy onboard computer system is going to know you've done this and may well trip an engine light on the dash. Now the only way around this I believe is to remap the ECU, which may make this modification more hassle than it's worth. But if you've got an old rig like this one, uh, as far as cheap and easy modifications go, it don't get much better than this. So, see you next time.